Hi friends, in this video we're going to talk about how to draw animated lines in Python folio maps. So at the end you'll get an output something like this. So we are going to use a plugin in folio called ant path because the animation looks like some ants are moving over a line and this can express the direction of the line. The output may seem that it's tough but since we are using a plugin it's just a one liner. So let's get started with coding. I'm going to take a blank folder and I'm going to open it with VS Code. Let's get a new file and just name it index.py. So to draw lines on a map, you have to create a map, right? So we're going to use Folium for that. So I'm going to write import Folium. So Folium is a Python library using which you can create interactive maps in Python. So if you don't know how to use Folium to create interactive maps in Python, I've already created a blog post and YouTube playlist for that. And I'm going to leave the link of those in the description so you can check out if you don't know what Folium is. Now let's get back to the code. To use and path, you're going to import it from Folium. So I'm going to write from folium.plugins import and path. So we have imported the and path class. So first let's try to create a map object. So I'm going to write map object equal to folium.map. So I'm going to initialize the map center location using this location input. And then I'm going to specify the initial zoom of the map using this zoom start all right we have created a map now let's create a line on this map using and path so to draw a line you need to know the coordinates of each point so i have created a list of latitude longitude tuples which are going to be the line points so i just initialized it as an array and we will use this list for initializing the and path object so since we got the latitude longitude coordinates of our line let's try to initialize the line so we are going to create an and path object using the and path class and the first parameter would be the coordinates of each line point which we have created already so i'm going to use this path latitude longitudes as the first input and then we use the delay input to control the speed of the line ants so a smaller delay value means fast animation and bigger delay value means slow animation and then we provide the weight option which specifies the thickness of the line and then we provide the color option which specifies the color of the line and then we can also specify some important parameter called dash array so it has two values the first value specifies the length of each ant and the second value specifies the distance between each ant so the smaller first value will be a small ant and the smaller second value will be ants moving very closely we will see the demo in a while and then once the ant path object is created we can add it to the map object so i'm going to write add to the map object which you have created. You can also add to a feature group which is like a layer on this map object but in this example we are adding the and path object directly to the map object. And now since our map is set up and the line is set up we can just save the map as a HTML file so that we can see the output. So I'm going to write map object dot save and the file name would be output dot HTML and that's all. Let's try to run this and we can see output dot HTML file is created. Let's try to open this output dot HTML file and you can see we have created the line using the ant path. We have only mentioned the color of the line, but we did not mention the color of the ants. By default, the ants are like a lighter version of the main color, but I can even modify the color of the ants. This can be controlled by the pulse color input. So in this example, I'm giving the pulse color as orange. So let me try to save this and run this. And now let's try to reload the page. You can see orange ants are moving on a red line. Since the first value of the dash array is more than the second value, the ants are seeming bigger than the line. So let's try to make the ants a little bit small. I'm going to make this as 10. So let me try to save this and run this. And now let's try to reload the output. Okay, in fact, let's try to make the pulse color as blue. That means the ants are going to be blue. So let's try to run this again. And now let's try to reload the output. And now you can see blue ants are moving over a red line. You know, change the inputs in the Python code and running the output may not seem convenient so there is an interactive configurations checking page at this url i will leave the link of this url in the description so here you can interactively change the delay values and see the ants are moving fast and if i increase the delay value the ants are moving slow and if i increase the weight of the line the, the line is going to be big and if i reduce the weight the line is going to be small the same way i can even change the pulse color which is the ant color so let me try to make the ants as red color you can see the ants are red and now since the first item in the dash array is the size of the ant if i reduce the dash array you can see the ants are getting smaller if i increase this second value of the dash array you can see the ants are becoming farther 
let me try to increase the and size and increase the dash array also and let me try to decrease the delay so that the ants can move fast this way you can configure your required parameters and use this directly in your python code i have added one more list of coordinates and created one more ant path and let me try to save this and run this again and then we can see the demo which we have shown in the starting of the video you can see the ants on this line are moving fast because the delay is less and i have kept the thickness of this line also more that's why the line is a bit thicker so these are the options you need to take care of while creating the ant path lines the first thing is the delay which is the speed of the animation lesser value means more speed color means the color of the line pulse color means the color of the ants weight means the thickness of the line opacity means the transparency of the line that means if you keep opacity of 1 the line will not be transparent at all and if you keep opacity as 0.5 the line will be half transparent and dash array is a list of two numbers the first number will specify the length of the ant and the second number will specify the distance between two ants and this link is an awesome page where you can test out your configuration options before writing it in your python code so that's it guys this is how you can use the folium and path plugin to create animated lines in your python folium maps you can see i've created a blog post on animated lines in python folium maps using folium and path plugin I've also given you the source code and examples so that you can copy paste and practice it in your own computer. I've also given the links for the official documentation and the configuration options page for further reading. So please be sure to check out the link of this blog post in the description of this video. Please ask questions or post your valuable feedback in the comment section. Also check out the playlist on Folium Interactive Maps in Python. I will leave the link of this playlist in the description. Hope you like this video guys. Thank you for watching. Peace.